thirsty for adventure all my youth Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue And every time I hear a phrase My mother used to say to me Everything happens for a reason I get the feeling I need A little taste of salad on arugula with a little topping of uh, chipotle mayo and some avocado can't get any easier than this for a travel day meal just open some black beans throw some veggies in it maybe a little vinegar mayo whatever you like avocado and you have a delicious and nutritious travel day meal delicious yum mm. Leave it. Run away, bear. Run away. Bears are supposed to run away when dogs bark. This is weird. Look at he's just like in no hurry. He's like, yeah, okay. It's just a dog. There's a na their neighborhood's on down the hill. I think he's probably used to dogs. Go mosey. Get out of here. He's just not bothered at all. I'm just going to mosey through my usual morning walk. Dog? What dog? There's no dog there. Bear. Bear, 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 bear. Well, we have a bear in the area, so I definitely want to make sure I store my garbage properly. So I'm going to hopefully for the first time in my life have a successful bear hang. In all my years of backpacking, I have never, ever succeeded at this. So let's see if we can succeed at it today the first thing is finding the right tree and i've got the perfect tree here ideally the bag should hang 15 feet above the ground i think this is about 15 feet and 10 feet away from the tree so i'm going to try to get it all the way out at the edge of the branch and hopefully it'll hold long it. rope got three bungees on it for or three uh carabiners and a hook on it for weight may not be enough weight Hey girl, where are you? Sadie! Good girl! Hi! Okay, be free. Go get it. Every bear I've seen in my RV, both here and uh, around the country, come in late at night in the dark or early in the morning. So I'm making so much noise out here, I'm not worried about the bear coming back while I'm out with Sadie. But I am keeping a closer eye on her. <laughs> I don't want her to go too far. I think maybe the problem I had backpacking is I didn't have a long enough rope. So I've got plenty of rope here. So I coil it up in my hands and throw the weighted end over the branch very loosely, you know, because I want it to slide over the other end of the branch. Takes a lot of patience. 
<laughs> I'm doing better than I usually do. It's not gotten stuck on anything yet. Okay, I need more weight, so I put some weight in, some batteries, and some other heavy things I found. Hopefully that'll help. Thing is, this is the problem I think I've always had in the past. If it's too heavy... I see a moth. I thought it was Sadie, but I thought Sadie was over there. But, um, if it's too heavy, I can't throw it very high. So, that's why I had such, such success the first time. Because it wasn't very heavy and I got lucky. So to hang a bear bag, you need a really long rope. Uh, I don't know how long this is, maybe 70 or 80 feet at least. Long enough to go over the highest branch that you want to reach and come back down, right? And probably some extra so that as you're throwing, it stays really loose. And then you need weight on the end that you're throwing that's going to go over the branch to help lower it back down after you throw it. And that's why having enough weight is really important and you're going to see here in a minute. It takes a lot of tries. You have to make sure you get it on the right branch, the strong enough branch, and it doesn't get caught on lower branches. There's a lot to this. So it looks like I got it, but when I tried to lift up the garbage can, it fell off the end because it was way too out on the tip of the branch and it didn't have enough weight to hold the garbage. So there's probably 10 or 15 pounds of garbage in here right now and I plan on being here a little while so it's gonna get heavier. So as soon as I tried to lift the garbage, it came off. So I keep getting these low branches. These, I don't know, so this is what I had last time and it worked until the garbage can got too heavy. I don't know, I'm putting a lot of pressure on that. That might work. Let's try. So it's a good idea to have a carabiner or two on the weighted end so that you can just carabiner it to whatever bag you're going to use. I have my garbage can here with handles on it. So just carabining it to the garbage bag and I'm going to try to hoist right. it up now. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. bag and I lost all my weight so now I gotta go find him. Alright, so try this again. 
All right, so I got a sturdier bag, Sadie treat bag. So the problem with this though, I wanted, the reason I chose the first one I did is because I needed something um, small, smaller. The problem with this is this is, could get stuck on a branch and get stuck. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna duct, duct tape this. Yeah. That's the problem I always had on my backpacking trips. You know, I didn't have all the tools and stuff is that stuff would get stuck on branches and we'd actually have to cut the wire, cut the line, and just leave whatever got stuck in the tree. All right, but I got my RV, I got my house. <laughs> so, there we go, look at that. That's gonna, well, this could still get stuck. So, all right, let's give it a try. Okay. I need coffee. Move the camera. Oh, you can't even see the branch. Let me fix it. My my tripod is wonky. Wonky wonky. Alright. Hey, say girl. Hey, Sadie girl, come. Yes, you're such a good girl. Hi, thank you. What are you, you're such a busy girl today. Want help? You want to help? You gonna help? Why don't you crawl up there? Okay, go ahead, you can be free. So the rope will get twisted around, both sides of it will get twisted around. So you just have to untangle it, untwist it. Sometimes in order to get the weighted side down, you just have to wiggle it and and you can see me kind of pulling on it because the branch is pliable. It, it, it you know, moves up and down. So I'm hoping that'll bring it down uh, so that I can reach it, but it's not. So remember, you got a rough rope on a rough branch. So getting it to slide down sometimes can be a challenge. <laughs> so yeah, this whole thing can be a little bit of a, an exercise in patience. Remember, I could have used a heavier weight, but then it's harder to throw. So I probably could have used a little more weight on it to make it come down. Of course, the heavier it is, the easier it's gonna come down. So I'm also pulling on the rope to try to bend the branch down to get the other side low enough for me to reach it. And now that I have my tool, da -da, it worked. Awning, my awning pull. Yay, I got it. All right. All right, can you see it? Where is it? I don't know if you can see it. I'm not sure where it is. 
Uh, all right. So I'm gonna have to pull it that way, because if I pull it this way, it, it could very well slide off the end. So I'll pull it that way. Hopefully I got it this time. You should pull it toward the tree anyway, because you're gonna have to tie it off on the tree, as I'll show you here in a second. But first I'm gonna take the weight off of the end and attack because I don't want extra weight on the garbage can because there's enough weight on it as it is so I'm going to take the weight off and just leave the carabiners and then attach the carabiners to the garbage can and then pull it up and tie it off So you want to make sure the, the rope isn't tangled up. Make sure each side has a clear pathway uh, up or down. The garbage can going up. The end I'm holding, of course, coming down. First, I need my coffee. Hi, Appy. All right, ta-da! Look at that, it worked! So you have to make sure you hold it taut because you don't want it to just come flying down. So hold it taut and tie it off on the tree trunk. So tie it around the tree trunk. I happen to have a couple branches here, uh, which I realized afterward a bear might have been able to climb up and break it, but they didn't. So just tie it off on the trees. However you tie a knot, see what I did here? Tied it on a few. <laughs> It worked. No bears came. All right. Yay. Oh, make sure I pick this up. My handy dandy bag, weight bag. It's a uh, dog treats. It's a dog treat bag, so definitely don't want to leave that laying around. All right. I'm just gonna relax and drink my coffee. I haven't even had my first full cup of coffee yet. Still my first cup. I wanted to get that done. Nice. I can hang a bear bag now. Now you know why I've always carried a, a bear canister. Jeez. You know, can you imagine? What, is this taking me an hour to do this? Can you imagine doing that after backpacking 10 miles? Yeah, no, I'd rather carry a bear can. All right. You've been busy. Hi. And we stayed here for a week or so and the bear never came back. Although Sadie did bark outside the window a couple times. We didn't see the bear again, but I saw plenty of fresh tracks most every day. And my bear bag hang was a huge success. It stayed up there until I took it down the day we left. And I want to thank my friends Edie and Cindy for braving the crazy road and coming to see me. It was a fun visit. They spent a couple days up there with me. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me make sure you check your subscriptions to see if you're still subscribed because youtube always unsubscribes people and thank you all so much for being here i appreciate each and every one of you and i'll see you next time in the meantime be happy be free and be kind